Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. At the beginning of the week, we had posted on social media a effective and hilarious quote. I'm reading it out to you. The quickest way to double your money is to fold it in half and put it back in your pocket. The quickest way to double your money is to fold it in half and put it back in your pocket. I was thinking about if you said this to a 15-year-old, they'd be thinking, can you bend a credit card? <laughs> right? Who uses bills anymore? <laughs> in Meaningful Mornings, we are following a way that is even quicker to double our money, and that is to invest in who we are. When we are more, then it doesn't matter if we have less. I've shared with all of you many times, first, be grateful for what you have, that's external. The evolution of that, to be grateful for who you are. The more complete you become, the less you need money. Chapters 7 through 12 of Bhagavad Gita are guiding us to become more devoted. Sometimes this is called bhakti, sometimes upasana. In this section, chapter 8 is unique, almost out of flow with the rest of the chapters. In chapters 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, so this whole section, other than eight. Sri Krishna's message is, time does not matter. What matters is sincerity, intensity, and so on. In chapter eight, he is sharing a message for those who cannot understand and appreciate that time doesn't matter. He's sharing a message that does relate to time or kala. This will become more clear in verse 5. At the end of chapter 7, specifically verses 29 and 30, Sri Krishna introduces many terms. He introduces seven different terms. At the beginning of chapter eight, specifically verses one and two, Prince Arjuna, who is engaged in active listening, he is not okay with these terms being shared and him not understanding them. So in verses one and two, he inquires into what these terms are. This inquiry is so he can follow these teachings. This is the whole vision of the seeker's word book, is not to just know the term, but how do you practice this? Sri Krishna defines, guides Prince Arjuna into these terms in verses 3 and 4. And from verse 5 onwards, for the whole chapter, Sri Krishna describes what living is like for those who are 
restricted to time. Those who are stuck in this worldly mindset. Right now, there's 92 of you who are registered for our Swatantra guide on living the Gita. A majority of this independent study is on chapter eight. So you will find many beautiful insights through this Swatantra guide. Sharing one more insight before we get into Prince Arjuna's question. So that you know why chapter eight is the way it is. In Vedanta and Bhagavata, I've shared our journey is to first to feel divinity in a murti. A murti is an icon. It is external. Everyone's heard this before. What is the evolution then? To feel that divinity in madhyama, in one's heart, as oneself. So from the external to the internal. And then manava. One feels divinity in all. Humans, animals, plants, stones. Chapter eight is about those people, those seekers who only feel divinity in a murti. They do not evolve to feeling this in Madhyama or Manava. Shri Paramatmane Namaha, which means we surrender to Shri Krishna. He is the highest. Atha Ashtamodhyayaha. We now commence chapter eight. <laughs> Yesterday I chanted Ashtadashodhyaya, which means the 18th chapter. <laughs> I was tired of meaningful morning, so I by bypassed 10 chapters. <laughs> Arjuna Uvacha, Prince Arjuna said, asked. After having listened through to 310 verses, if Sri Krishna were right in front of you, what would you ask him? Reflect on this, because then we'll become more like Prince Arjuna. That's what we're aspiring to do, because who is he aspiring to become like? Sri Krishna. Kim tad brahma kim adhyatmam. Kim karma purushottamam Adi bhutam cha kim proktam Adi devam kim uchate Kim Brahma. What is Brahma? Tat Brahma. That Brahma. Not Brahma as in the creator but Brahma as in consciousness. This is question number one. The term Brahma, Sri Krishna already used in chapter seven, verse 29. Next, Kim Adhyatma. Kim Adhyatma. What is Adhyatma? This question really is, what is Atma or spirit? The term or prefix Adhi, A-D-H-I, means pertaining to, relating to. So the question simply is, what is Atma? But Adhyatma is, what is that relating to the spirit? Brahma? Adhyatma, or Brahma, Atma. This is also introduced in verse 29. Question three, 
kim karma kim karma and here karma we know means action but Sri Krishna defined karma in verse 29 as akila karma not just the action but the attitude and so on that was introduced in verse 29 also so question three everyone's together brahma atma karma and he's describing Sri Krishna as Purushottama. You are the highest, so from your perspective, you would have insights. You would be able to see what all of this is. Question four, Kim Bhuta. Kim Bhuta, the prefix Adhi is there again, so Adi Bhuta. This term was introduced in verse 30. Everyone remembers this, yes? And finally, Kim Deva, Adi Deva. That is question five. This also was introduced in verse 30. And then there's words like Proktam Uchate. So Prince Arjuna is sharing these terms. What are they? message you shared, how am I to practice this? Five questions, which are missing? Which two terms or two messages have not been addressed? Please share with me in the chat. How actively are you listening? Another is yagna, good. That's coming, Kim Adi Yagnya. What is that communion between the outer and inner? That will be question six and question seven, which is the majority of the focus of this chapter, answering this. Kim Prayana Kale. What happens in the moment of death? I had shared that chapter eight is very much about dying and death, or generally change. So that will be question seven, and Sri Krishna will answer. Last night, I didn't have any classes or meetings, so I was outside just sitting. And as I was sitting, I was inquiring into the beginning of my day was very much about what do I have to do today? Drop the kids off here, exercise, meet these people. But inquiring more was into who am I? So much into doing, but who is the doer? Who am I? Am I just a personality? Inquiring even more was not about what to do or who am I? The inquiry led me to, what is life? Hold that inquiry right here, right now. What is all of this? For all of you who are thinking I'm freaking in right now, <laughs> it's because we have such a secular mindset that keeps us at, what am I to do? Inquire, what is all of this? What is life? When this inquiry is intensified, that is the theme of chapter eight, that one comes to know there is only awareness. What is all of this? Awareness. All we do is in awareness. All we are is in awareness. All there is is awareness. Prince Arjuna's inquiry is not technical. He has this 
faith that there is only Sri Krishna and he's asking questions to confirm that, to consolidate that. From inspiration to application, your application yesterday was to challenge your lifestyle to be more sensitive to the environment, particularly towards veganism to practice some sort of veganism. How many of you have come up with a plan relating to that? I see five hands in the first screen. That's awesome. If just five seekers change their lifestyle, how many animals will be saved? How many plants will be saved? It'd be awesome. Follow through. Your application for this morning is related in our Prithvi Seva Sangha. And I have a very exciting announcement to share about that soon as this week comes to a completion. The action to implement for the month, our aim, is for you to do a food waste audit. How much food waste does your home generate? Particularly to analyze your food prep scraps. Number one. Number two, it is your plate wastage. The food that's on your plate, how much of that is wasted? And number three, how much food is spoiled? In your fridge, it goes directly to the compost. So engage in your own food waste audit in these three areas. This is all on our website. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Be safe, be sound, be serene, be joy.